this week on Scam School. It's an effect you should pay $50 for, but instead you get it for free. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the show that's taken every mark in the book, except you, Wahlberg. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back at the handlebar with Nate Staniforth as we learn one of the best magic effects we've ever taught. You're going to love this one. Let's go see it. Rolling. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, we are back again at the handlebar with Nate Staniforth, who showed to me earlier today an effect that, no lie, was utterly astonishing. And I was badly, badly fooled. This, by all rights, should be an effect that he sells for like $50 on some DVD anywhere, but instead he's decided to share it with us for you guys for those beers. So there, all right, take it away, sir. Cool. All right, so we're gonna use business cards. I'm gonna put a one on this one. I'm gonna put a two on this one. What's your name? Dave. Dave, I'm gonna have you sign these because I don't want you okay. to think I have duplicates or anything. If you could just, you don't have to sign them, just put your initials on the top and I'm gonna have you do the same thing here. Okay, so we agree, these are the only two business cards in the world that looks like, I didn't have you sign anything before we started, no. right? Okay, just blatantly you know, clear and I'm only gonna use two cards, I'm gonna have my sleeves rolled up. We've got a two and a one. Dave, I'm gonna give you the one. Hold your hand out like this if you would. I'm gonna give you the one. Put your other hand on top of it so it doesn't blow away. Okay, without turning it over, if I'm holding the two, you're holding the one. The one, right, okay. Here's the idea. The goal is for me to get them to switch. I want you to squeeze your hands together so there's no way I can move that at all. I want you to see this. Whoa. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> He's the freaking devil! <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Did you guys that like that? Cool, man. Now here's the important thing. Do you guys want to learn that? Oh, yes. yes. Host oh, this yeah. man. Oh, that, was awesome. that was awesome. Oh. Guys, that was awesome. Hello? Who is? Do you read me who is? Affirmative brand. I read you. Give me a dot scam domain, who is? Let's try and go for something cool like important spaceman dot scam. I'm sorry, Brant. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, who is? This domain is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, who is? Brant, nobody would ever trust a dot scam domain. A .com or a .net would be far more credible. Or maybe a .voyage would be fitting if you want a top-level domain. Where the hell did you get that idea, who is? Well, Brent, when I think domain names, I think domain.com. Alright, who is? I'll use domain.com. But what about promo code scam school? You'll find it difficult to save 15% off without it. All right, so on a scale of kangaroo to global apocalypse, how amazing was this? <laughs> it was amazing. Here's what I love about it, is that it is so elegant. Almost any time you have a substitution effect, there's usually extra process thrown in there to kind of complicate things. This is so elegant and so precise. And once you learn the secret, so diabolically simple, you're, you're gonna wanna punch Nate in the face. So make <laughs> sure to do that. Don't do that, right. <laughs> so, so here's where this came from. In my show now, I have this piece where two playing cards are chosen and signed, and the same thing happens. They switch across the stage. And when I started brainstorming methods, how I could possibly make that happen, I stumbled onto this. And uh, I eventually moved on to other things and, and chose to go a different route. And so this just sort of you know, withered and died in my notebooks. And so I thought it would be a good thing to teach because I'm not gonna use it because I'm using my other version. So I want you to just remember what you saw, and then I'll tell you what actually happened. Okay. What you saw, was me write a one and a two on different business cards, right? And then I had you put your initials on those business cards. What actually happened was I switched these two. In the act of handing you the marker, I turned my hand over because I knew that I was gonna perform this, so I set this up ahead of time. 
and I switched in two different business cards. You saw me write those, and it was important for you to see me write them because I wanted you to know that it wasn't set up ahead of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, back up, back up, back up, back up. Sure. So when you say you turned your hand over, yep. I assume, so, so, so what we thought was a whole stack of blank side up cards exactly. is in fact half blank up and half blank down. That's right. And on the bottom, you had specially prepared some other version of the two cards. So, right. so we see um, uh, face up, face up, you draw one, you draw two, and you set them down, and then, and then you put them back. And when you say turn your hand over, you literally, we're not talking about a magic move. It's not we a mean, switch, it's not a move. Yes. It's just I handed you the marker. Everyone was looking at you take the marker, and I just did that. Like if you try to make it a sneaky switch, you'll get caught. But if you just, you I'm sorry, what's your name, down. Dave? I mean, it's so, not so a you, switch. So you, you can just, turn your hand down and just set it right? down. Right, so you just do that. Okay, so I assume that there is something tricky and special about these cards. So let me tell you what I did ahead of time. I made these two special cards. It looks like this says two, but it's actually just... No! <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I just wrote the number oh, two. That's awesome. <laughs> that is amazing. So, so that let, that me, alone. let me tell you why that's this amazing. works. <laughs> There's a black circle around the number. The black circle masks the double thickness here. So you can look at this, even in fairly bright yeah, light, yeah. and not, not catch the fact that, that it's actually two levels of cardstock there instead of one, especially because you just saw me write those numbers with my hand. Right. It, you know, even if this whole thing was... So was, how does it stick on there? You need to go to a, an office supply store and buy this extraordinary product called Restickable Glue. <laughs> It doesn't dry, it just remains Maybe sort of not. tacky. So the idea is to convert anything into a post-it note. Right, that can you be turn anything into a post-it note, stick it on your fridge, whatever. But, but we're using it as a magic prop here because it allows you to temporarily make this card look like it says two, when in fact it, it says one. So wait a minute, it seems to me like you could spend 30 minutes and pre-make like a dozen of these, sure. and they could be the bottom half exactly. of the stack of cards, That's and right. then the top half is nothing but a bunch of face-up blank face cards. Up. Right, you could do this all and night, and you could do and it, it over and over itself. and over exactly. again. Yep. Are you kidding me? Yep. So you've secretly brought in two business cards that have a one and a two on them, when in fact the one is actually a two, and the two is actually a one, wow. right? Oh. You are gonna have someone sign these, because when they go back and think about this, you want them to remember, no, I signed them, there couldn't be duplicates. Like the, the only logical explanation is that there are duplicates. So you have to sort of take that possibility away. So if you, if you remember the wording, I said, put your initials here. So you did a D and an L. Everyone at the table is watching yeah, them the write their initials. They're all curious what this person is going to write. Then you'll remember I said, do the same thing here. And it's not, you don't make a big deal of it, but you want them to duplicate that same So this DL. is intentional. There's a reason that you don't have them write DL1 and DL2. Right. Because that would make it too clear. You'd be like, well, it must not have been a one because I remember writing a one on it. Right. What this allows, the, the initials never change place. It's just the number that switches. But, but people perceive that as if the whole card changes place. Does that make sense? Yeah, because totally. the, the signature is identical. I mean, yeah. Cognitively, I don't think about yeah. that. I mean, that, when right? you guys, when you guys saw it the first time, it oh, felt no, no, amazing, no. right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. This serves as proof, and this is the thing that actually makes it The feel actual effect. Excellent. Okay, so to prepare it in advance, is there anything we need to know as we construct the gimmick before we perform this? Yeah. So. You, you need some scissors, and you're gonna just write a one, circle it. And you would make, I would assume if you're making several of these, you would you just make fill one, up one, the whole one, card, one, right, one, exactly. one, right. So you cut it out, just, you know, cutting along the edge of the ink. Now, once you make it, do you want to go back again and color the sides exactly. of it so there's no yep. white? Yep, and do you see how I, I made that cut a little sharp? You want to make sure it's smooth because it has to look like handwriting. Yeah. So there can't be angular edges to it. So then you're gonna take the marker, and you're gonna color the edge because yeah. it, it seems like I'm a little more camouflage. being fastidious, but you know, the only thing that can give this away is the depth. And so you're cloaking the edge so that it just blends in with the circle that's already on the card. It's like a science, right? That's crazy. And then you're gonna take the, the repositionable glue, you're just gonna swipe it across the top. Once? Once. And then I let it dry for about 10 minutes just because you want all of the adhesive to stay on this removable piece so that they can keep the business cards. You'll notice when I slide this away, there's no residue there. They can, they can feel it and they won't learn anything. Now that you understand how to make this, let me just walk you through the handling. You start out with 
blank cards on top, the two gimmick cards. So as you construct it, I assume because the order you write them is you write one first and then and set it down, and right. then you write and two, two and set it down, and then you pick them both up and set them on top. With the two on top, right. So, so the, re the mirror image, the bizarro versions, as you flip it over, two will be on the outside right. and then one and then underneath. One. Right. Th then you have them put their initials on, and there's only one move that you need to learn. But before we get into that, I want to make this point. When you're in this position, your work is basically done. So at that point, you should clear everything out. Take the rest of the business cards, put them in your pocket. You don't want anyone to think that you're doing anything with the stack of cards. You want to make this as clean and as open as possible. And you're going to emphasize that there are only two cards. Your sleeves are rolled up. You had them sign them, so these are each unique cards. And this is the thing, like, later on when they remember it, they will remember the beginning, the middle, and the end. Right. And the beginning picture, all great magic. We talk about this on Scam School all the time. You're done before it even begins. Right. All of this feels like preamble, like get ready to get ready. And then if you get to this moment, you're like, now let's begin. We right. finished the setup. And this is what you want them to remember is that there were only two cards that they watched constructed in front of them and signed. Right. You can even say, all right, I'm ready to start. Let's let's do this. Hold out your hand. You are going to take the one. I want to be abundantly clear. I am going to give you the one. I'm even going to so move the two clean. over here. So good. there's only one move that you need to practice, and it's this. Your job is to remove this circle of cardstock, and you're going to do that in the act of putting the card on his hand. So you're going to say, hold your hand like this. When you do that, everyone's going to watch to make sure that his hand is yeah. taking the appropriate position. You're taking your thumb, and you're just making sure that it's put on top of the circle so that you can slide the number back with your thumb, and you're going to stick it right here on your oh. finger. And what that lets you do is you can operate as if your hands are completely empty. Oh my god, you're not, there's no sneaky, you're no, like you're still palming together. Anything. It's just stuck to the bottom of your finger. Huh. Everyone is looking here. No one cares what's happening yeah, here. Totally. But they would care if you were sort of yeah, hiding yeah, something, totally right? right. So, so the thing that you have to practice and take this to the level where it feels impossible is learning to, I mean, that's the move. So you like will benefit from a little bit of, of just practicing like, sliding right. one you, piece You of may paper have to over. invest 15 or 20 minutes into this. <laughs> but. but that's the price you pay that's for three breaker. beers. Yeah. And then put your hand on top. So at this point, you're in this beautiful position. Because now, now you everyone, still have that stuff stuck to your hand. Right. Uh, you don't find that it like flitters away or anything? Here's what I do. I say, squeeze your hand on top, and I gesture with my other hand. You'll just notice that naturally my hand drops to my side, and I take this piece and I stick it to the back of my leg. Oh my God! I don't want it to fall to the floor because I want to be able to know that for the rest of the night, I'm not going to get caught. So I stick it to the back of my leg. At some point, I will go to the bathroom and right, take it right, off my right. leg. But, but your leg is not part of the story here, right? No one's going to look on your leg. What you're doing, as you're secretly ditching the one on your leg, you are emphasizing to the gentleman across from you that he needs to squeeze his hands together so there's no way that anyone could remove that card. The reason this is so clear is because if there's any doubt, they are looking openly at the, the card that says two that's, that's face up on the table. So you can be very clean about this. You're gonna repeat the same move. I'm gonna take the two, you show it to everyone, make sure they understand. I'm gonna hold my hand just like you had yours, and I say that as I'm doing the move with this hand. So I'm You at, repeat the same beats oh, because, because all the focus is on your hand right. adopting the right. Right, and the repetition sort of gives it a, an inevitability. Symmetry. That, right, yeah, exactly. So I put the card here. At this point, the whole trick is done. So this hand goes and puts the two, my jeans or whatever, and then, you know, I did this, but you could do whatever you want. You could you could just stare at the person for 20 seconds or so, and then, or whatever, just, just totally sort of mess with them a little bit. The point is, in terms of method, the, the trick is already done. At this point, it's just your job to make Everything it. Everything else is just it. the MacGuffin. Right. Uh, okay, so, any questions that you guys have? No. Here's the only remaining question, is which one of you guys is gonna perform it for us? Yes! Yeah. Yes! Oh, sure, yes, I understand you have wizard powers now. Please show us. I have a deck of cards. Yeah. I'm gonna write number one on that. Yeah, that's a one. That is yeah. definitely a one. Yeah. On this, I'm gonna write two. It's card number two. Uh, like, to verify our trick, I'm gonna have them signed by you. Yo, I mean, it's old yeah. man, I'll initial the hell out of yeah. these. All right. So, sign these two cards. Yeah, right yeah. there, the little BB. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make the exact same BB right there. Yeah. Great job. There we Thank go. You. I'm so gonna just... put these cards away. Yeah, sure. Uh, for us to concentrate on so, the... Yeah, you take that pick, pick too. I hate yeah. pens. Oh, thanks. 
hold out your hand. Yeah. Uh, real flat. Yes. Oh, oh I'm sorry. No, no, that's good and flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing there. Yeah. And then what we are going to do? Right, put me other hand on. Yes, yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So which card do you have? I have the two. Okay. And yes. I have the one. You have the one. Okay. Clearly, you're not getting my two. Uh, yeah. You know, of you course know. not. Of course you know, not. That's why I have. I don't care what color. color. <laughs> you sell your soul to Satan. You ain't getting my two. Yeah. Let's see about that. Let's put oh, that right. together. <laughs> the deal was on in October, my dude. Friend. It's like right now. I legitimately, I'm like, screw you. You're not getting my two. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually squeezing really hard. Yes, yeah. I yeah. am. I'm, I feel exactly, it. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see. If, like, stare at each other. To stare at it, like, I, exactly. I ain't looking at your demon eyes. Magical power. With your flow. Satan magic, I ain't exactly. believing it. And then uh, open your card. I have the two. Uh, yeah, let's see about that. Screw you, you're a demon. <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. Very well done, man. Toast this man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, you have no idea what a huge deal it is that Nate Standaforth is sharing this with you guys. This is a killer, killer, kick-ass pro-level effect, so you need to thank him on Twitter. Head on over to twitter.com slash Nate underscore Standaforth and say, thanks, man, I really dug this. And if you have anything nasty to say, then shut your stupid mouth. Speaking of which, we should be friends on twitter.com slash Schwood. And of course, you're not going to want to miss next week when we're going to learn how you can get wicked high using nothing but your parents' ladder. I'm talking about like five, six steps straight up. I'm so high right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that was killer. Off that was silence. killer. He's like, he's like, he's just like. <laughs> my hand more mold. genuine, more genuine amazement. Oh my god! We're looking into the face of God. Come on, man! It's a double rainbow. <laughs> on a scale of kangaroo to global apocalypse, how amazing was this?